Have you ever wondered how cyclones are formed? It's a fascinating process that involves a perfect blend of atmospheric conditions. Imagine a recipe, but instead of flour and sugar, we're using warm sea surface temperatures, atmospheric instability, and a dash of rotation. So how does this recipe come together? Let's start with the first ingredient, warm sea surface temperatures. These act like the oven in our cooking analogy, providing the heat needed to get things started. But heat alone isn't enough. Uh, we also need atmospheric instability. The second ingredient, this is like the yeast in bread, causing the air to rise and create thunderstorms. Lastly, we need sufficient rotation. Think of this as the mixing spoon stirring everything together. The Earth's rotation causes the wind to curve, creating a spinning motion that ultimately forms the cyclone. Now let's delve deeper into the two types of cyclones, tropical and temperate. Tropical cyclones, also known as hurricanes or typhoons, they are, are some of the most powerful and destructive natural phenomena. These mammoth storms are born over warm tropical or subtropical waters. It all begins when warm, moist air over the ocean rises, creating an area of low pressure beneath. This causes cooler air to rush in, which then warms up and rises, continuing the cycle. As the warm air rises and cools off, the water in the air forms clouds. The whole system of clouds and wind spins and grows, fed by the ocean's heat and water evaporating from the surface. But what sets tropical cyclones apart? They have a few telltale characteristics. For starters, they boast incredibly strong winds. We're talking about speeds of more than 74 miles per hour. These winds can cause devastating damage, uprooting trees and damaging homes. Another key feature of a tropical cyclone is its heavy rainfall. These storms can unleash torrential downpours leading to severe flooding. And let's not forget the eye of the storm. This is a calm, clear area at the center of the cyclone, surrounded by the most violent part of the storm, the eye wall. Tropical cyclones are certainly powerful, but they're not the only game in town. Temperate cyclones have their own unique formation and characteristics. Unlike their tropical cousins, temperate cyclones, often referred to as extratropical cyclones, form in cooler waters. Now you may wonder, how do these cyclones come into being? Well, the magic begins when cold and warm air masses meet. The warm air, being lighter, rises above the cold air, creating an area of low pressure. As this cycle continues, the rotating wind intensifies, ultimately giving birth to a temperate cyclone. These cyclones are quite the spectacle. They are larger in size compared to tropical cyclones, often spanning over a thousand miles in diameter. That's like fitting over 30 Grand Canyons side by side. Their size allows them to affect larger areas and last longer, often several days or even weeks. But what sets them apart even more is their potential for snow. Yes, you heard that right, snow. While tropical cyclones bring torrential rain, temperate cyclones can bring both rain and snow. This is due to the wide temperature gradient within these systems. And remember, these cyclones aren't restricted to a particular season. They can form any time of the year, as long as the conditions are right. So don't be surprised if you hear about a temperate cyclone in the middle of winter or at the height of summer. So, while they may seem similar on the surface, tropical and temperate cyclones are distinct in their formation and behavior. As we've seen, the formation and characteristics of cyclones are as intriguing as they are complex. Tropical cyclones, with their formation over warm ocean waters near the equator, are known for their torrential rains and high-speed winds. They draw their energy from the heat released when moist air rises and condenses. Temperate cyclones, on the other hand, are born at mid-latitudes and are characterized by a front system with cold and warm fronts rotating around a central low-pressure system. They bring a mixed bag of weather from rain to snow and even the occasional sunshine. Understanding these natural phenomena is crucial. It enables meteorologists to predict their paths and potential impacts, helping us prepare for the inevitable. The more we know, the better we can protect ourselves from the devastating effects of these powerful storms. So next time a storm is brewing, you'll know exactly what's happening behind those swirling clouds.